Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jace. Guess what? I found a replacement for Blizzwood VP6. Yes, meet Lenovo Smart Projector L5. It may not be 100% better in all aspects, but it is the closer container so far. Alright, let's have a closer look at it. By the way, Banggood Double 12 sales festival starts now. Free shipping, more than 60% off and a lot of goodie for you and me. Be sure to go to Banggood website to find out more. Build quality is excellent with sturdy ABX plastic housing. Some metal parts are located in the front and on the top. Stylish in design as you can see. There is a multi-layer coated glass lens and IR receiver located in the front. Manual focus adjustment can be found on the right. No high vertical keystone. Followed by air intake with a removable hair power filter. On the left, there is a large heating with fan inside. Two HDMI port, AV input, F1 jack, two USB ports, IR receiver, 100 Mac RJ45, and AC input are located at the back. Touchable navigation buttons with LED backlit are located on the top. Four anti-ski pad at the bottom to provide stability. They also add as mount hole for sealing mount after removing the rubber pad. Lastly, this is the mini stand that lets you adjust viewing height. Here are the included accessories. A handy infrared remote control for navigation. HDMI cable for video connection. Power call with EU plug. No worries, you can change it easily. Finally, a useful and detailed user manual. As usual, take your time to go through it. L5 supports screen sizes from 40 inch to 150 inch, suitable for both day and night. As usual, the smaller the screen, the brighter you will get. 70 inch is the best during the day. You can go up to 140 inch in a totally dark room. Every day is movie night then. You can't get this kind of experience with the smaller TV. Just like other budget projectors, you need to calibrate L5 in order to get the best result. Yes, be sure to do so. Image quality, contrast and colors are excellent after calibrated. FYI, 
L5 is using 70% NTSC LCD panel with 450 NC lumens. Not the best, but does the job well. Text performance is outstanding. You can present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Good enough for daylight usage as long as below 70 inch screen size. For extreme tests, L5 is performing very well too. Corners are sharp and in focus. One of the best budget projectors for sure. It is very handy to use L5 as media player. It's an Android projector after all. Just plug in USB hard drive will do. You can play almost every type of video format through software like Kodi. Again, a lot of audio codecs are supported. Subtitle too. Photo viewing is as simple as ABC, working smoothly. The built-in 5W speaker is great, clear and suitable for quiet room. Lastly, the fan noise level is great. You won't hear fan noise during music or movie playback. Full HD resolution input with SDR support. And a lot of refresh rate for you and me. Video playback performance is about the same between HDMI and Android OS. 24Hz is great and smooth. Both 50Hz and 60Hz has Perfectly smooth playback. For Android, 60Hz has frame skip due to the decoder. This 24p video is being played back through HDMI with external player. L5 is performing well on both highlights and shadows. Nice colors too. And it is suitable for movie no doubt. Again, a nice budget home cinema. Outstanding performance in this 4K 60p video. Perfectly smooth video playback is what you get. Fifty Hertz is performing excellently as well. Perfect for power reasons contents for sure. Lenovo L5 is loaded with non-official Android TV 9 firmware. 
using a simple custom launcher instead of the officially one. It is powered by Huawei High Silicon chipset. 1GB of RAM and 8GB of storage are good enough for daily usage. As usual, you can install the application that you need from Google Play Store. Do take note that this is Android TV OS. So only those apps with remote control support can be found here. The same apply to games. You can find most of the gamepad or remote control supported games there. No worry. You can install apps and games through a APK method. Alright, let's have a look at the settings. Everything is pretty much straightforward. 4-way keystone adjustment is supported. Two methods here. Just pick the one that suits you. Will do. Followed by the four projection modes for different type of mounting. Lastly, zoom function with 50 to 100% adjustment. As always, direct projection without any adjustment gives the best image quality. Multiple languages are supported. English for me as usual. By the way, you can set the default boot into AV, HDMI 1 or HDMI 2. It will load your TV box directly. That's great. And here is the system info that you might want to know. Advanced display and audio settings can be found in both HDMI and Android OS. Press the menu button to bring it up. For picture mode, there are standard, dynamic, soft, vivid, and user. As usual, these are my values for this preview. Color temperature has cool, normal, and warm. FYI, high silicon chipset supports HDR. However, it is not enabled on the current firmware. As for sounds, several selections are there for you and me. Both bass and treble values can be adjusted. HDMI CEC is working, however, ARC does not. Firmware update is needed here too. By the way, here are my display values for Android OS. Wireless mirroring is working smoothly. Available on both Android and iOS devices. Yes, you can share photos and even watch videos on L5 easily. In addition, you can control L5 projector with your smartphone as well. Max Hub Share is the app that you need. Typing is simple and easy through the app, right? Both 2.5 gig band wireless and wire connection are decent. Around 100 meg is what you get. Be sure to force 14 meg bandwidth in your wireless router. FYI, Bluetooth connection is fast and stable. Let's have a look at the most common streaming app now, YouTube. Everything is working as expected. However, 1080p 60 frame per second content has frame drop issue. High silicon decoder needs to be updated to fix it. Non-Android TV Netflix was installed. Mouse is preferred for this version. A lot easier to navigate than the remote control. It supports SD format only. Don't expect Full HD video playback on non-certified device. How about gaming on Android projector itself? The casual one are okay.
Lenovo L5 passed the input lag test with this. 39 millisecond response time is what you get. Not the fastest out there, but you will notice this on casual game. As usual, Pingball is used to test projector gaming ability. Perfectly smooth on the Nintendo Switch game console. And fast response too. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, important traffic news that can't help you because you're someplace where a TV is. Yeah. Well, that's all for Lenovo L5 review. An excellent 1080p Android projector for the price. It has outstanding image quality and nice colors. Loud and clear speaker. Perfect for both video and games. It is also my current favorite budget projector that replaced VP6. By the way, do check out my top projector chart too. And please use my referral link to shop. It will help me a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and thumb up. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you around. Peace.